very proud after you know seeing the things that we have achieved uh, with this film and uh, my father and everybody at home they are really really happy and looking forward to see ladki in theaters yeah can you tell me about your first guru of martial arts I think uh, there were a lot of uh, people there like you know Pravin Borse and uh, Rakesh Mandole Vivek uh, Kohli so uh, these three were like uh, they were there from the very beginning and I've tra uh, traveled uh, the entire India been been to different different states and you know uh, I have uh, trained under a lot under a lot of uh, different coaches so uh, it's been a good experience from your future goals in martial arts there are any dream uh future goals i think uh, i want to include martial arts and uh, whatever i have learned in in the journey and uh, you know use that in my career and go in this direction only and uh, be a part of want to be a part of uh, this industry and uh, become an action hero and i just you know I, let's see after this film i hope everybody loves my work had a thing that I want to make a martial arts film that's because uh, India really doesn't have a culture of martial arts that much uh, uh, at the time it uh, always was at the back of my head so when much later after I became a director I kind of seen I mean the later day martial artists after the uh, death of Bruce Lee like from Donnie Yen to Jackie Chan to various others uh, came jet li tony ja i always used to wonder why they are not seeming to understand the original art of bruce lee in terms of how he interpreted the fighting arts and the style which he adapted they pretty much seem to be in a classical mold whereas bruce lee was always against uh, classical styles because he thought each person has to develop his own individual style which is what the uh, in the true meaning of original art is about so that is when i slowly started uh, thinking about can i attempt a martial arts film then uh, at a point of time one more thing i realized is you now bruce lee being a very small person he's like a 5 foot 7 inch guy with a body weight of hardly 60 kg but on screen he made me believe he can beat up people twice his size and multiple of them and it was very believable i think uh, a, a, a kind of a combination of the rage in his eyes and the fury and the speed and the agility and the extraordinary body he has so then i thought why not take it a step forward and make it into a girl because the whole point is a weak person cannot and a girl is weaker as uh, generally believed so that is when i fixed up uh, the uh, basic plot line to be a female centric martial arts film so like i said earlier it was very difficult even to get a male martial art in india so female thought was much more tougher but uh, finally at a point of time i managed to get uh, puja its contact and she happens to be a taekwondo champion and took part in many national and international tournaments and then once i met her i got her trained in jeet kune do which is the bruce lee style yeah that's how the whole journey happened and after that i sent uh, the footage to a chinese company and uh, they were very impressed with puja skills and that was kind of really surprising because china is the motherland of martial arts like every greatest artist in china from bruce lee onwards came in came from china so them being impressed with the indian martial artist like puja was a huge uh, this thing for us so that's when it became indo chinese co production and uh, then lots of things and we've been shooting for the last 3 uh, years but uh, due to the covid thing and various other related issues it got delayed and finally we're looking for a simultaneous release date incidentally it is releasing on july 15th in china also in more than 40000 screens and so for me it is a very special film because i started my journey going on a cycle in hyderabad to a theater to watch enter the dragon when i didn't have money to buy the ticket and now what inspired me in that theater in hyderabad I managed to take that and convey in a certain film called Ladki which is releasing in Bruce Lee's homeland in 40000 screens I think it's probably the greatest emotional high I've had in my career so far thank you Hi everyone vanakkam 
I want to thank you all for being here today. Uh, I'm, I'm, I was extreme, extremely excited when you know uh, we were coming here to visit Chennai, and uh, uh, this is my I think second third time visiting this beautiful uh, city. Uh, earlier when I came here, I came as a martial artist to uh, participate in competition, but today I am here. Uh, as an actor so uh, it's it's been a wonderful journey being a part of this film and uh, me sir and uh, the makers of this film the indian makers and chinese makers we take immense pride in presenting ladki so as sir mentioned earlier that we are uh, we are releasing this film in china in 40 40000 screens and uh, overall counting is 47000 and uh, still going up and up every day so i think uh, for a newcomer uh, it's it's uh, like a dream come true thing happening for me and uh, sir is a dream maker he has introduced so many actors uh, uh, musicians and uh, directors in this industry so uh, you know as as a fan girl of rgv sir working with him uh, on his uh, dream project it's it's been a, a re, like life changing journey for me uh, let me tell you something about myself uh, uh, i started my uh, martial arts career when i was very young i think 7 8 years old and uh, i i started on a very basic level like you know district state and then uh, international level so i i have represented india in asian games and uh, many other international tournaments and in 2014 i have received a uh, government award from maharashtra government for my lifetime achievement so after this award my father wanted me to uh, do a regular job in uh, in a government office or somewhere or become a policeman so uh, i i told him that you know this is my dream uh, this is uh, what i want to do in my life i never thought that i will become an actor but one day i i got a call from sir's office and uh, they said that they are looking for a girl who can perform action so uh, that time i didn't know that this film is a tribute to bruce lee so i i went ahead uh, to sir's office with my father in mumbai and uh, i gave him a small demo of whatever you know little i could do some kicks and some punches and uh, sir loved it and he said uh, i think my search for ladki uh, ends here with you and uh, uh, okay you have uh, 14 years of uh, experience in taekwondo but this film is about bruce lee and his fighting style so i want you to specifically train in jeet kondo so from there we started uh, from there i started learning jeet kondo and uh, we did a lot of test shoots and finally when sir said that okay you are ready uh, to you know work in this film and do action and then uh, we started shooting for this film so uh, since i don't have any acting background initially we started shooting the film from action scenes and uh, by the time we started shooting the acting scenes i was i was pretty much comfortable in front of the camera and uh, throughout this journey throughout the shooting of ladki sir guided me a lot uh, how to act how to how to cry how my character will fight uh regarding everything the intensity on my face everything uh, was explained to me uh, very beautifully and very uh, you know amazingly by sir and uh, it was clear in my head that uh, you know i i am playing a fan girl of bruce lee but in real life i'm a i'm a fan of bruce lee and rgv sir as well so uh, it was an amazing opportunity and plus uh, there was some a uh, burden or a responsibility was there on my shoulder that uh, uh, we are playing paying a tribute to such legendary uh, action action figure that is bruce lee so that thing was in my mind that there will be a lot of pressure but positive pressure so uh, i've i've given my best i feel i've given my heart and soul to this film and i want everyone to you know uh come to the theaters on 15th of july and uh, please watch this film i'm i'm sure uh it will be a wonderful experience and you guys will love the film thank you so much for coming here again thank you uh, ram gopal verma is very famous for doing glamorous uh, scripts so when the movie is narrated to you and now you are seen the total entire first copy uh, which is been balanced by the martial arts or the glamorous role which is the more what do you what do you feel i think it's both uh because uh, in in my real life i can connect to it uh, 
uh, martial arts is very important part of my life and uh, uh, I'm I'm very romantic person <laughs> in my personal life. So uh, with every girl and every boy, there there's something or the other or the other. Everybody likes to fall in love with someone, and uh, the action part was already there. So I, it was kind of a new experience for me, and uh, I was very aware that you know I've seen Sir's other films. Uh, and uh, I knew that, you know, I, I am going to look really, really glamorous and super amazing in the film. So uh, that happiness was there and I was uh, aware of what I want to do and how I will look in a certain clothes or in a certain scenario. So uh, I think both the things are pretty much amazing in the film. I think uh, you will enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, just I want to add one thing. I think he, uh, this is what I'm saying, when he said he's famous for making his heroes look glamorous and I think his question also was, did he tell you something and did he show you as something else? I think that was the question. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, yeah, partly. But to just elaborate on that, you know, I'm extremely, uh, I mean, uh, frank and truthful to my actors, you know. Right in the beginning, I said, see, Pooja comes from a very, very conservative uh, middle class family from Pune. You know? And uh, I said, you see, the whole point for me when I watched Bruce Lee in Enter the Dragon, as much as his face, uh, the expression in the face, the, the incredible fitness of his body, and his body speaks a language for itself in terms of its stance, and you see each m muscle rippling across the thing when he hits or when he just stands there. So it's very important, and I think, for a martial artist, the body expresses as much as the face. And that needs to be shown with pride, with, with a kind of a, a poise and a dignity, you know. So, and uh, to, I mean, uh, to her credit, she did it with complete conviction, uh, trusting me to capture that in the same way. Actually, you are a martial art. Okay, so when uh, Sir actually approached you for the movie, so first of all, what was your mindset? Whether he is going to take you to the level in the in the way of martial art? Or whether he told you like it is going to be a glamorous one, so you will be approached only for the uh, for the glam, gra, uh, glamorous role or what? So he's asking, what kind of uh, thought you had when you committed to this movie? Either you will be approached or you will be applauded for the martial art or for the glamour one. Applauded for. Applauded for. Like so, he is going to take you up in the role of glamour or in the role of martial art that your talent you are going to expose. Uh, first of all, uh, when I met sir. I was not at all glamorous. <laughs> uh, I, I think uh, I, I was a tomboy when when I you know met Sir and uh, a very simple simple girl, and uh, that's why you know Sir Sir casted me in this film for my action uh, action talent. And then initially when I started uh, working on myself uh, and uh, learning Jeet Kune Do, uh, I felt that you know for this uh, specific film I I think there should be a makeover like uh, how it happens in the film when a girl goes to a makeover scene <laughs> so uh, i think in real life also something like that happened with me that i had to uh, you know change uh, my personality completely so i'll be uh, you know more presentable because action action part is there uh, but uh, i felt that the, there should be a glamorous uh, side of me because uh, I've, I've been a fan of Sir since childhood and uh, when I saw Urmila ma'am in uh, Rangila I was completely mesmerized with the beauty and her acting skills so uh, I, I kind of you know I was looking up to her and you know uh, trying to uh, imitate her in a way since like I, I can't be Urmila ma'am but uh, uh, her beauty was so mesmerizing that I felt like, you know, if I, I can look like her even 5% then, uh, you know, it will be really good for me. So I started started working on my looks as well and uh, uh, I think uh, what I, I want to say that I'm, I'm really happy what we have achieved in the film, action wise and uh, glamour wise as well. And uh, uh, let's see, I think in the future, uh, I, I want to do more action films and uh, uh, I think uh, I, I will try to balance both the things throughout my career. <laughs>